advisors in from the National Hurricane Center, and unfortunately, it does not have any good news in it at all. The intensity has continued to increase. The air pressure has gone down near the center, an indication also of intensification. Winds 125 miles an hour now, shy of Category 4. It's still Category 3 and still moving to the north at 12 miles an hour and still about the same size, but as you can see, getting closer and closer to the coast there with the tropical storm force winds about 200 miles south southwest of Apalachicola. Now here is the new forecast track and it does include uh, this which is now calling for intensification to continue making category four intensity by tomorrow morning and making landfall likely as a category four hurricane during the middle of the day tomorrow. But remember, that's the worst part of the storm coming ashore in the middle part of the day. The bad weather arrives later tonight and during the morning hours tomorrow and it's all downhill from there in terms of the weather deteriorating. So uh, preparations, they're done you know, no, no good weather now going forward and, and allowing uh, for more preparations. The storm weakens though, forecast to be still a hurricane as it crosses into Georgia by tomorrow evening then to a tropical storm on Thursday morning in eastern Georgia and then through the Carolinas and back out to sea as a strong tropical storm. Now here is a graphic showing the hurricane wind force gusts and the probabilities of that and that's where we'll likely see our widespread and long duration power outages thanks to tree damage and also there could be some building damage, home damage there and you can see it covers an area much of the panhandle there from about Apalachicola and the Panama City up into southwest Georgia and that does include Dallas Hassie. After that, winds will still be strong. There could be some power outages all the way into the Carolinas, but the biggest threat for that wind problem is going to be right over the panhandle. Here's what's happened through the evening. Watch this. All of a sudden, the blues got brighter. They expanded an indication of high, very, very high cloud tops and expanding cloud tops, an indication of uh, intensification. Hurricane hunters have been investigating. That's what they've been finding is that the storm is getting stronger and there's no reason to think that's going to stop now. Here's the latest radar. You can see the center right there. Here come the first bands now just about 50 miles or so south of the Florida Panhandle. There is the center spinning very, very quickly in these long bands uh, racing to the north and east about 230 miles to the west of Tampa Bay. Rainfall potential. That's another hazard as well as the threat of tornadoes as the storms moves to the northeast there throughout the Carolinas and Georgia and over an area that was hit by Florence just about a month ago and they're going to see another threat from at least some wind and some rain.